वेलकम टू टेक लर्नर्स इन टूडेज लेसन वी विल टॉक अबाउट बाइनरी सर्च एल्गोरिदम एंड जावा प्रोग्राम फॉर बाइनरी सर्च इन द प्रीवियस लेसन वी हैव टॉक अबाउट द प्रोग्राम फॉर द लेनियर सर्च एज वी नो दैट लेनियर सर्च बिहेव डिफरेंटली डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द पोजिशन ऑफ द सर्च एलिमेंट सो द बाइनरी सर्च इज अ बेटर सोल्यूशन फॉर फास्टर सर्चिंग as you can see binary search is faster than linear search but it works only on a sorted elements so let's see for example if we have the list or array of the elements like 5 6 9 19 23 32 and 45 you can notice that this is a sorted list and if you want to search the element number 32 you can see this is 32 so we need to search this 32 into this list or array so the binary search ask to make this into a uh, in this way so we will mark the first index to the low index and the last index to the high index and the mid element with the mid index now let's see how this algorithm operates step 1 first we will compare the element x that is to be searched element we'll compare the element which we want to search with the middle element so let's see if we have 32 we want to search 32 then this 32 will be compared with the middle element here you can see that the middle element is 19 now let's talk about step 2 if x matches with the middle element then we simply return the mid index and our searching is complete so Uh, here in this case we can see that 32 is not matching with 19 so we will go further here we can see if 19 it's not equal to 32 19 is different from 32 then we'll go to the step number 3 that is else case now if x is greater than the mid element so if x is greater than the mid element we can see 32 yes it is greater than 19 if it is greater than 19 then we will take the right side list as our new list so we can see if the element to be searched is equal to the mid element then we will simply return that the element found else if the element is greater than the middle element then we will take this the rest list of the right hand side to the middle element as our new list and if the third case if the searching element is smaller than this mid element then we will take this left side list as our new list and we will start from the step number 1 so in our case we can see that uh, this 32 is greater than this 19 so our new list will be this 23 32 and 45 and now this will behave as our new list so what we used to do in the new list we mark low we mark high and then we will mark this mid right so you can see this is our new list we marked mid we marked high and we marked low the first element will be marked as low the last element will be marked as high and the middle element will be marked as mid and we will again go on to the step number 1 and will perform all the operation on this new list as you can see step number 1 first compare x with the middle element now this middle element is equal to 32 so we simply can return that the element found so the element matches so we will return that the element found and we can return the index of this particular 32 so there was another case that if uh, the element to be found is smaller than this 19 then we can go to the step number 4 uh, else if this is smaller then we can take the left half of the list as our new list and we will repeat the process till element is found or list ends so if 32 if the element to be searched is smaller than this 19 then the similar process will be performed on this left half of the list so this binary search can be uh, performed in many ways 
it can be done in the regular way that means with the help of the loops or conditional statements it can be done with the help of the recursion it can be done with the help of the binary search method available into the array class and it can also be you done with the help of the binary search method available of the collection class so today we will talk about the regular way with loops and conditional statements and in the upcoming lessons we will talk the other methods of binary search so let's go to the program and see how this binary search can be implemented with the help of the loops and conditional statements so this is a simple binary search program i have used a scanner class to accept the input from the user i have uh, declared an array then i'll ask the user uh, to enter number of elements into the array i have stored that into a size variable and i'll accept that with the help of the uh, sc object of the scanner class and with the help of the next int method now using this size i'll uh, initialize the array so the array is initialized with similar size let's say if the user input uh, 5 then the array of size 5 will be initialized now i'll ask user to enter those five elements to enter all the elements into uh, so that i can store those elements into the array just to store i have used a for loop i'll run a for loop from zero to less than size and then i'll simply with the help of the sc object and next int method i'll store the elements into the array if you are not aware about the working of array then you can watch my separate video that is based on single dimensional array and you can also watch the other video based on the double dimensional array so if you are not comfortable with the arrays i request or i suggest you please watch that video based on the array so in this way i have uh, stored all the elements into the array and now i'll ask user to enter the element that is needed to be found and uh, the element to be searched inside the array i'll accept the array with the help sorry i'll accept the element with the help of the sc object and with the help of the next int method and store into an integer variable value now here this is the actual uh, from this uh, location the actual binary search starts where we need to identify the indexes remember uh, we had uh, three indexes uh, low mid and high so first we need to declare three variables low mid and high we will initialize low with the first index that is zero we will initialize high with the last index that is size minus one and we will initialize the mid index with the middle obviously the middle index can be achieved with the help of low plus high divided by two so this is simply the formula for the average middle index so the middle index is initialized with low plus high divided by two so here in this case if we have uh, uh, let's say if we have five uh, the size of the array then here zero plus uh, four because high is size minus one so this is zero plus four that is four divided by two that is two so mid will have the index 2 now i'll start a loop while low is less than equal to high because we are moving from one element to the other element so and you say you can see we are moving from 5 to 6 to 9 and so on so till low is less than high we can uh, continue in the loop so till low is less than equal to high we need to check this is the step number one you can see we were checking in step number one first compare x with the middle element so here we need to compare if array mid that is the middle element is equal to value then what we have to do simply give result to the user that your element found at mid plus one plus one just because of the array indexing it begins with zero and we have to give the exact location so we'll plus one <coughs> excuse me so we will simply display that your element found at mid plus one and we'll use a break statement to get out of this loop else now this is the next step uh, you can see that uh, else if x is greater than the mid element uh, if x is greater than the mid element so this is if x is uh, let's say i have taken lesser than so if area of mid is less than the value that means we have to take the left half of the 
series left half that means you can see for the left half low remains same mid will change and high index will change for the left half low index will remain same mid index will change and high index will change so we need to change these two indexes so you can see uh, if it is lesser than the value then we can see that uh, low is equal to mid plus one uh, if this is array of mid is lesser than the value that means value is greater than in this case right if it is greater than that means we are taking the right hand side according to the step if x is greater than the mid element that means we are going to take the right hand side in the right hand side case we are changing this uh, high the high remains same the index of high remains same and the mid index will change and the low index will change so we need to change this low index and mid index so we will be changing this uh, low index so low will be equal to mid plus one and mid will be equal to low plus high by 2 so this is a new low index so the low will become mid plus 1 and mid will become new low plus high divided by 2 so in this way we have this uh, right hand side half list where the high will remain same the low will be mid plus 1 you can see this is just next to the mid that is why we have incremented mid plus 1 it is just next to the mid so this will become a new low mid plus one and then this using this low and this high we can use low plus high divided by two so in this way we can uh, have the new list and this will iterate back and then again we will check if area of mid is equal to value then we can display the index now this is the else part that means if the value is not greater than the array of mid element it is not equal to neither greater than that means it is less than so in that case if it is less than we will have to take the left half of the array now you can see in the left half the low index will remain same the mid index will <coughs> change the high index will change and the high index will be what the high index will be mid minus one we are going back so this high index will be mid minus one and the new mid will be low plus new high so in this case we will be changing the high as mid minus one and the new mid will be low plus new high divided by two so this will iterate and uh, this will continue till low is less than equal to high we find the element and you can see here we are printing the element so let me execute this program and show the output to you that how this binary search is uh, working so let's check with the output so let's say if I input 5 then I have to element 5 elements 1 remember here I have to give sorted list 1 3 6 8 and let's say 10 so these are the 5 elements I want to search element number 8 <clears throat> so you can see the element 8 found at fourth place one two three fourth it is found at fourth place so this is how the binary search algorithm operates let me run it once more if it is 5 1 36 45 59 87 and 90 okay so we have already given the five elements and let me search the element number 36 so you can see 36 found at position number 2 so in this way we can uh, implement the binary search in the simple way with the help of the loop and with the help of the conditional statements uh, I hope you have understood the concept of binary search it is one of the very important search algorithm that is used and in the upcoming uh, lessons we will talk about the other ways of implementing this binary search with the help of the recursion with the help of the binary search method of array class and using binary search method of the collection class so I hope you have understood this program uh, hit the like button please subscribe the channel for more such videos and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification of my upcoming videos thank you so much